Hey guys! I'm Flo, welcome to my channel and for today's video we are going to be doing the second free resources video and if you haven't seen the first one you should definitely check that out and essentially for this video I'm going to be going over some free resources and free websites that graphic designers, web designers, even UX and UI designers can check out or even if you're a graphic design student this will definitely come in handy for you. And I'm going to go over three categories of some free resources. So I think I'm going to have about seven or eight free resources, which I think is about the same as I ha as much as I had last time. So um, yeah, I'll link that below too for the last video. But let's get started. So for the first resource or the first category is going to be colors and gradients. And I only have one website for this category, but essentially it's called uigradients.com. Now, if you haven't checked out this website or heard about it, it's definitely a cool website if you're someone who loves to use gradients and play around with gradients. And I love gradients personally, but sometimes you kind of run out of ideas or don't know what color combinations to go with. So this website provides you with different gradient combinations for you to pick out and you can pick out the swatches and get the hex codes and the color codes and then just, you know, use those and just like dial them in in whatever software you're using and get those gradients, which I think is really awesome. And when you go on the website, right off the bat, they give you like, I think automatic or like randomly generated color gradients that you can choose from and kind of look through and like go next, next, next and the kind of like look around and see what gradients you like, which I think is kind of cool. Every time you go on, they'll give you like a different set of gradients to take a look at, which I find is it's like kind of nice for inspiration. And then if you go into the left hand side, there'll be show all gradients and then you can see all of the gradients they have listed there. And the nice thing about this website is they have the gradients categorized based on colors as well. So let's say you're looking for something that's pinkish or bluish, you can click on the colors and then they'll give you those types of gradients. So if you're looking for red colored gradients, you'll find all the gradients that have reds in it or so, and so forth. So it's a really cool website definitely check it out I'll link that below as well the second category is Adobe Adobe resources and there's always like re new Adobe resources that I'm finding out about like every so often um, but maybe some of you may or may not know about this um, but essentially there's um, there's resources for their brushes so if you go on to Photoshop and you go into the brushes section, especially if you use the brushes, and if you click on the settings, there'll be more brushes or download more brushes. And once you get onto that, uh, click on that, it'll lead you to the Adobe website and then they'll show you a bunch of array of brushes that you can actually download for free. Well, of course it's free if you have the Adobe, you know, um, Adobe uh, monthly, uh, monthly account or the monthly, uh, Wow, I'm literally out of words, but the the monthly uh, what's the word? The monthly account with them or the monthly like you you obviously have to make a pur a purchase initially, but um, they're not uh, wow you have to make a purchase initially, but then um, you have these brushes as like free perks that you can use. So they're not of extra cost or anything like that. And you'll see like they have like free brushes that come out every so often. I think it's like usually in the summers and they're called the Kyle brushes. So I think the guy, this guy named Kyle actually came up with these brushes. So thank you Kyle for these brushes. And there's an array of brushes that you can go for there. There's a lot of nice texture brushes. So if you're looking for like something very specific like charcoal or um, even something like watercolors, you can find an array of different kinds of brushes. So it's really awesome. So check that out. And then another thing that I actually found out about very recently was on the Adobe's website, if you like search, I had to dig around to find this, there's like a free resources um, category and they upload free resources, I guess, every, every so often. And there's like different assets, different mockups to use, like let's say like uh, for CD covers, posters and so forth. And they look actually look pretty good. So I would suggest you guys check it out, especially if you're the type of person that likes to use mockups a lot or you need to use mockups, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, so that's the, another resource source and now for the third category is free PNGs and I use PNGs a lot and 
honestly there are so many websites to go through and like I'll search up free PNG sometimes but when you go on to these websites sometimes they're not actually free like there's initially maybe like another cost you have to pay or you have to go through this whole sign up process and all of that and I like to usually avoid that and honestly if you're with a client that is maybe on a budget or and so forth then these websites can come in handy now I know some of them might look a little funky or funny looking but if you dig enough you can find some really good PNGs on these websites so I'll go over the three PNG websites so the first one is freepngs.com uh, the second one is wow, what's the second one The second one is cleanpngs.com and then the third one is pngimg.com. I know that all sounds like a mouthful but I will link those below for you guys to check out. So yeah, definitely check those websites out, they'll definitely come in handy for you guys. And I hope this video was helpful. If this video was helpful to you guys, make sure to like it. And if you also like these videos, let me know if there's any kind of videos that you're kind of that you want me to make whether it's certain kinds of tutorials or questions that you have comment below let me know you can also dm me on my instagram at the designer flow and you can ask me any questions or anything like that and i'll definitely make sure to check those out so i hope you guys have a good day bye bye for now